Welcome to Clearwater Beach, everybody. You guys ready to do some metal detecting today? Today, we are gonna be digging some targets up, man. Uh, I've been honestly already out here for probably like 45 minutes, since dark, actually. I've been digging since dark. I've gotten mostly uh, like foil. I got a lot of Capri Sun containers, quite a few bottle caps, and then just a few coins, so. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of on it right this second. Oh, there's our second nickel of the day, baby. It's at least a slightly promising sign. I'm thankful that I'm finding like at least some coins out here today because I know Clearwater Beach can get be a bit of like a challenge to find things. There's always people out here dropping stuff, but there's also people, are always people with metal detectors out here, you know? So I think you just kind of got to be up here at the right time. But yeah, we're just gonna be digging pretty much whatever beeps. So join me, man. Let's see what we can come up with out here, huh? All right, I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> we got two blowers. But I have two higher, well, this one's not really higher. Okay, this one's just foil. <laughs> I got a slightly higher signal that I'm hoping is not foil over here. It's a 53 on the target ID, so come on, baby, please. I've dug up literally like 50 pieces of freaking scrap over here. This one's probably scrap too. 51, 54. Kind of sounds small. Please, just a little piece of something. Oh, that ain't it, I don't think. What is that little thing, man? No, I don't know. Guys, I might have a coin, man. <laughs> This one's reading a 91. I don't think it's a bottle cap. I'm hoping it's not. Sounds pretty clean, 91, 92. I'm gonna move away from these leaf blowers, I promise you. All right, that one's just a dime. I think that's the first dime of the day. Not too shabby, man. All right, oh. I promise I'm still trying to make my way away from the leaf blower guy, but this one's kind of a rough and scratchy 78 through 80. I still don't think a bottle cap, but definitely a very scratchy signal. What's that? All right, that's a little plastic bead off of something. That ain't my signal though. Come on, man, please. Where are you? Oh, something small. What is that? Oh, uh, I don't think that's anything significant. I don't know what the heck that thing is, man. I guess if I'm lucky, that could be a bead off of something, maybe. But it might also be off of like a uh, beach chair. So let's keep on searching, man. All right, I might be in a slightly small little patch here. I just pulled a ketchup, a mayonnaise, a bottle cap. Uh, I think I have some other ones. 36 37 kind of sounds like yep another ketchup packet then i got one that kind of sounds like a nickel maybe a pull tab man that thing's still full <laughs> this one's a 65 sounds pretty good maybe nickel i always forget on the orx do they read 62 or 65 for the nickel reading this one i think it's probably pull tab Yep, indeed they do it is, man. All right, we gotta keep our optimism up there because it's treating us a little bit rough out here. We got a pouch full of freaking aluminum foil and Capri Sun. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. We've been getting it. Mostly aluminum foil out here, I'm not gonna lie to you. This one's reading a little bit higher. Up into like the 40s, low 50s. 51 out of the hole. There's a lot of clothing out here. <laughs> they lost their clothing, man, but not much else, apparently. It's something else tiny. What are you? Are you a bead too, man? <laughs> There's nothing but beads out here. I think that honestly is. It's like a little bead, crusty copper bead off of ancient piece of jewelry. <laughs> Yeah, we're struggling, but that's all right, man. My optimism's still up there. I'm still kind of hopeful. This one sounds really funky. I don't think bottle cap, but maybe. Maybe tent steak. 
No, I was mistaken. It was a freaking bottle cap. We got a deep sound in like 70 right here, kind of 60, 70. Out of the hole, it doesn't sound as great, but it sounds a little bit better than some scrap, so. <laughs> Come on, is that scrap? Oh wait, wait, oh. I don't think that's scrap, guys, finally. <laughs> I think, yes, it is an earring. Oh yes, guys, that looks nice, actually. That looks nice, baby. He's got some stones in him. Oh, and right there immediately that is a nice stamp on the back i think it says definitely 925 but i think it says ibbcn 925 yes <laughs> i was getting worried there for a second i know it's not crazy it's just a little silver earring but man i will take it literally guys after like let me just show you real quick what i'm working with so many bottle caps that ain't all of them this is what we're working with in here so many freaking capri sun uh wrappers and like what mayonnaise we just got all the assorted aluminum foil so i've been struggling a little bit but i am very very happy to have that and it does have some stones in there probably not likely real but we got a diamond tester we can test those babies out when we get home so <laughs> i will take it man i think that one was a little bit deeper too though it didn't sound like great under the hole so i'm actually in a little bit of an odd patch too right now i guess i can let you guys know so i was doing uh, over by the water over there obviously is close to the water but i just wasn't really hitting any signals over there I think a lot of that has to do with just the amount of people that actually metal detect that line down there. But I feel like up here past like the trash can line, not too many people really hit this dry sand area. I mean, not too many people like necessarily set up camp and like, you know, bring their towels and stuff out on this dry sand area either. But I can guarantee you sometimes they do, man. <laughs> And even you got to think like walking back to the car though. Let me just like kind of spiral around this little area. Make sure they didn't lose the other one or something else. Oh, they just had another beep there. Apparently not. Kind of got to listen for the faint ones too, man. This one's a 37 through 40. So probably back to the scrap with this one, honestly. Oh. Even kind of sounds like some iron out of the hole now. Interesting. Is it some junk jewelry? Junk jewelry can sound like iron a lot of the times. Nope. It's a freaking bolt, man. A screw or a bolt. <laughs> I've been screwed again. Ah! I'm losing my detector. So I don't know what time it is now. I've probably been out here maybe. Is that another high one under there? I was gonna say maybe close to an hour and a half, two hours now. Just, it's not really slow. There's a lot of signals, but the majority of them are junk so far. So, I mean, it's nice just being out here at Clearwater Beach though, I'll be honest with you. Nice change of like scenery, change of pace. Come on, man. What the heck is that? <laughs> Dude. Um, I really don't know what that is. Is that a baby spatula? <laughs> you find some weird stuff out at the beach, I'll give you that. I thought it was gonna be like a chisel at first. It almost looks like a spatula, a baby spatula. All right. All right, for the third or fourth time out here today, we got another little bead, man. It's like a bead off of a bracelet or something. All right, I just pulled out a piece of scrap. And I think I might have a deep, uh, good signal, man. It's reading a 9091. It's gonna be at least a couple scoopers down. Sorry about the noise. We got people out here like emptying the trash cans and stuff. There's usually a lot of activity early in the morning when you're up here, you know? Come on. All right, it's out. Is that it? I think I see it. 
is this it is it a coin yep just another dime right there not too crazy but i'll take a dime man i will take a dime i'm getting desperate out here for whatever i can get that isn't scrap all right nothing too crazy that's for dang sure but we're getting on a couple coins and stuff over here so things are definitely starting to look up a little bit as long as it's not all scrap i know we're not going to be able to make our ten dollars back in parking that's just that's just for sure but we can at least try to recover some of the change right This one sounds really deep let's see not the best most consistent signal but there's something under there what do you guys think it's gonna be deep coin i don't know really he's still hiding in there huh It's actually a 43, so I don't think a coin. Maybe scrap or the golden ring. The golden? No. <laughs> it appears to be the golden foil, unfortunately. Not quite the golden ring. Okay, so I don't know if this is necessarily jewelry. I think maybe at some point it probably was, but I'm actually right next to the pier right now. Uh, yeah, I'm basically like, I don't know, I was thinking maybe somebody put some stuff up there on the ledge and then it fell off. I got a couple coins and whatnot, but mostly just scrap. This is really the only interesting thing I got, so let's keep on going, man. This one's a 62-64 right here, too. I think he's still in the ground, a 62. Where did he go, man? Is it a pole tab? These guys are still out here scraping the place. I don't know if they're actually like scraping the beach or, hello. I'm happy to see you, man. Jefferson, where have you been all my life? <laughs> Yeah, a couple of nickels out here. I think like four or five nickels so far. I think only one quarter. Hey, look at that. I think is that. Hey, that's the surface find right there. <laughs> uh, pretty much some junkity junk, but Destiny might want that. It's actually kind of halfway broken. She probably ain't going to want that. But that's all right, man. Yeah, so I'm kind of just doing an out of the like, kind of like outside the box area over here. Cause I was obviously in the main area, but uh, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be too many crazy signals over there. This one's a 91 down here. I think it's right here. Yes, it is. Another dime, baby. 2021. All right. To be honest with you guys, I'm up here like pretty far on the beach, and I just got one of my best sounding signals of the day, man. It's a 95 solid. Please, silver ring. That would be amazing. Very unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> there she is right there. Just a quarter, man. It's a bicentennial, though. It's not too shabby, I suppose. Is it? Nope. Looks like... Okay, it's just another dime, man. We're on the dimes today. All right, everybody, I think that's going to be about it for me with the old ORX out here at Clearwater Beach. It's a decent day out here. It's not like roasting, roasting hot just yet, but it's not even 9 a.m. yet. So I think I'm going to take a quick break. Probably I might come back out here for a little while, but I am about out of energy. We woke up at like four o'clock in the morning to come down here. So, hey, if you guys enjoy the video, I know we didn't find a whole lot of stuff, but we definitely cleaned the beach up man we got literally a pouch full of just assorted junk and we got i think two pieces of jewelry on the day well a couple more if you count like these beads as jewelry but i don't really count those as individual pieces you know 
So we got some coins, we got some washers, plenty of bottle caps out here. And the find of the day was like that little earring, the 925 earring. So anyways, I appreciate you guys joining me. You know what to do. If you guys enjoyed the video, hook it up with a thumbs up for me, man. And uh, yeah, before too long, I'm sure we'll be back out here or something similar. I do like the bigger beaches quite a bit, you know. So for the last target, here she is. It's a 64 through 67. Could this be our golden ring? Honestly, it probably could be. I don't think it is, but yeah, one last time, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more detecting, so I might make one more video while I'm out here, but realistically, it's probably about time to head home. So I don't know if that is a little wash or something. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the reality of the hunt out here at Clearwater Beach. Uh, get down here if you guys get a chance to, if you guys live in Florida. It's a, it's a really nice beach to check out. So anyways, appreciate you guys a whole bunch and I hope to see you guys very soon.